I need more time to finish this. Let me give you a hand. Hey, stop! This place, wait, this is the shrouded realm. Uh oh, is that the Pentasod?
What happened? Sandrak and the Hand vanished when I arrived. He cast some kind of spell. I, I tried to stop him. You were supposed to wait for me, Initiate. The Ley Line, he... He absorbed it. I don't understand. I saw something. Saw what? When his spell was cast, I... I left m my body. I... I went somewhere else. Out with it. I saw the Pentasod. It, it's... Alive. Don't Sir, think I have a spell talk. for that. Up there, Sandrak referred to me as a brother. And not like, oh, hey, look, it's another Magnus, but more like... Like someone from his order. Exactly. Complicated subject. One I'm not going to get into here. You're not going to explain how Sandrak is an immortal. Was. You're not going to explain how Sandrak was an immortal. Thought I made that clear, Initiate. That's something Kirkin will talk to you about when she thinks it's right. Some of us don't like being reminded of it. I should just go. Wait a minute. Listen. About your vision. Of the Shrouded Realm. I wanted you to know something. The Pentasod. It is alive. All we ever see here, in this world, in our world, is only the physical manifestation of its true form in the Shrouded Realm. In Kalthus, our mystics say this form visits them in dreams in the winter. In other parts of Avium, prophets, saints, madmen, have all claimed to have seen it at one time or another. So I'm a saint, is what you're saying? I just wanted you to know that you're not- That I'm not special? No worries, sir. Kirkin lets me know that all the time. Can you ever shut up? I'm saying you don't have to feel alone, Jack. I don't want you to feel like you might become a pariah. People Careful. You could end up being nice to me for the first time ever. You're impossible. No, I, I mean it. That was really kind of you. Thanks. All right. I'll meet you back at the Palathon. Sandrak absorbing a ley line isn't something we're even remotely prepared for. Kirkin will be eager to talk. Hi, I'm Jack. Saw you wore the Immortals Glyph. Figured I'd introduce myself. You're the new recruit. I'm the Viscount Hauserel, Lord of Sevenridge and I of Lavenry. Sorry I missed your induction ceremony, Jack. On a mission, your lordship? Sure. And please, just Hauser. Fewer words benefit us all. Honestly, I didn't think anyone would pass selection this time around. No one has in years. So I... dallied. Apologies again, I should have been here for you. No worries. So, uh, what was the mission? Hmm. I'm a Hexbrand, Jack. Do you know what that is? Oh, an assassin. Yes. You can figure out the mission from there. I didn't think the Immortals had assassins. Understandable. It's not really tip of the spear now, is it? 
The immortals are more than that. It's just Kirkin's favorite way of selling it. Does she give you a target list? Ritz? Uh, Devin said Ritz once. Call them sanctions. Their approval is a nebulous mix of Lavenry, the Grand Magnus, Circumstance, and myself. Are you interested in taking one on? Wait, you... Wait, we, we can do that? How? The Order of Masks have a group of Magni called the Six that range far from Rashan. Lucian needs them dead. If you want the sanction, it's yours. That's how we do it. Being a Viscount, that means you have a claim to the throne, right? I'm 15th in line and never getting closer. Realistically, you have as much claim as I do. Uh-huh, sure. What's it like being part of a dynastic house? It's bad for one's health. Come on. Oh, I'm serious. Why else would so many of us train as assassins? There's the ever war between kingdoms, and then there's the little war known in every court in Avium. They're the same except for scale. Magni obsessed with fighting other Magni for the rule of magic. I have to watch my back on two fronts. Talk to you later, Hauser. I heard you fought the hand alone, Jack. It's good to see you in one piece. The others are waiting for you in the war chamber. Heard you walked right up into a whole thing. Take up a position at the table, Initiate. There's a lot to talk about. Any of these... Sounds like Zendara filled you in, sir. But I've got about a million questions. Story time, Jack. And I used to really love story time. The Shrouded Realm is a world of raw, untempered magic. A magic so formless and wild, it's impossible to master. Yeah, I think I've been there. Then the Pentasad came to that world and created the Fonts. Five great anchors that connected the Shrouded Realm to Avium. The ley lines spread out from these Fonts, traveling through both worlds. 
turning the Shrouded Realm's magic into a resource we could use. If someone could capture the power of a font, they'd control magic in a way that no Magnus has before. Like a living ley line tower, capable of drawing magic from the very source, capable of even redirecting it away from other Magni. Sandrak has done exactly that. We believe he's in possession of a Thrada Kull, a binding stone, an artifact that can control the fonts. So that's what I saw the hand pull out of the ruins. That's right. With it, Sandrak will eventually be able to block our access to magic completely. Then the Everwar is over. Over? As in he takes over Lucium? As in he takes over everything. Sir, respectfully and whatever, you're wrong. Excuse me? Oh boy. You said it yourself. Magic is a resource. Just because Sandrak absorbed a font or whatever doesn't mean his power is endless. It's just that it's probably ginormous. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. We can take it back and then... Make yourself at home. I bring you good news, sister. Peace is near. Allow me to let you witness it. A small kindness between friends. If you would have it. We were just discussing what the best response would be to your desecration of the fonts. Had you yet concluded you have none? Let us meet at Nosea to discuss the terms of your surrender. I hear now you speak for your king. So there should- Come, <coughs> chap! <clears throat> the boy does not know me. You have my word. The traditions of Aristea will be upheld. Without violence. I see a Lucium that genuinely survives this part of history. Can you? Well, that was horrible. Course of action? Devin, make sure every last trace of them is really gone. Zandara, I need you to speak to the Watch Commanders. We're meeting Sandrak at Nosea. We're outgunned. Not outfought. Not yet. Jack, let's talk. Is Indara right? We're going to actually walk into Sandrak's trap. It's not a trap. Sandrak fashions himself after the nobility of Aristea. He'll honor the tradition of Nosea as neutral ground. Sir, I know you don't plan to surrender. Not even a little bit. We'll take him by surprise, hit him with everything we got, and hope the power of that binding stone of his is found wanting. Okay, so it's our trap, then. The Immortals can't let Sandrak take control of magic, Jack. We have to take our chances. Speaking of the Immortals and Sandrak, and Sandrak having been an Immortal and you never telling me, your fellow Immortal... I figured this was coming. There's not a lot of time here. I had a right to know. You recruited me the day Sandrak destroyed my home. I've been fighting against Rasharn ever since you told me... What difference would it have made? I don't know, but how do you benefit by constantly keeping secrets from me? You could have told me about the fonts long before any of this. You could have told me how using magic destroys the world before training me. I you joined the army, Jack, not the academy. You only needed to know what helped you in the field. I don't feel that's a good enough answer, sir. I'm sure you can live with it for the time being. If we survive Nosea. We can talk about it again. Now, a few pieces need to fall into place for this ambush to work. I need you to take this to Captain Selko. A portal stone? Any message to go along with it? Selko will know what to do. 
You'll find him in Lordsfell along with a battalion of our soldiers. Understood. I'll head out now. I don't think I have a spell for that. Kirkin didn't say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know, sir. Is it, though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just, if I knew the whole plan, it could be helpful, since I'm, like, part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. Jack, Kirkin's asking for an update. I delivered the portal stone to Captain Selko. What's next? Rendezvous with the rest of us at Nosea. Our parlay with Sandrak is imminent. Parlay? What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh-huh. See you soon.
Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know. This all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirkham that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war. By turning the rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound! He's moving it! We have to go! Now! Fall back! Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkans left for Lavenry to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkan's emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that! Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan.
Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does, or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Risharn. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is, well... You saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. To pin that, we concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mmm. Sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback, because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devon, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a Shroud Fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nosia. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell and I'll tell you where we go from there. I don't think I have a spell for that.
Don't think I have a spell for that. Some view, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What the hell happened out there? The Gatteront. Mix stupid ideas with bold, magical experiments and blow your own kingdom to pieces. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in Oriman. See if we can find any trace of Thaddeus and find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? So the Gatterond, huh? All I'd heard about Ormen was that they gave up fighting in the Everwar, what, 20 years ago? More or less. They basically ground themselves to San. They didn't so much give up as vanish awkwardly from the stage. What happened? A populist faction with a fiery name that I can't remember took over the Ormen government. They advocated for an equal ownership of magic. Not just between Magni, but among the Lightless as well. They believed that by distributing magic evenly, the world would finally be able to work towards an end to the Everwar. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, look where it got them. I, uh, maybe? Part of me absolutely can. Dynastic magical traditions, thousands of years old, versus some upstart idea of shared magic that results in the destruction of roughly a fifth of the continent? I'll trust my overly stringent forebearers. Thank you very much. Back at the Palathon, it felt like you really wanted to tell me something about Thaddeus, but Zendara wouldn't let you. He's a touchy subject, and Zendara's very protective of Kirken. She'd be happy if we never talked about him at all. Thaddeus and Kirken, they hate each other, more or less. You know about our secret duty as stewards of Lucia? The Immortals' mandate and such? Yeah. I poke around. I snoop. Tremendous deficit of character, I know. Evidently, there's another more deeper, extreme version of that mandate that only the Grand Magnus and their immediate confidence know about. Some task they're expected to do at some point. Turns out Thaddeus resigned as Grand Magnus and exiled himself before doing this super secret thing. Whatever it is. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I could get used to that. Give me a portal any day. There's a very high vomit probability for me right now. Suck it up, buddy. We need to get to Jack.
Hey, I'm Jack. This is Devin. Thanks for the assist. Uh, well, what's your name? Kenzie. You're Lucians, aren't you? Also, Immortals. Just to be clear. Is that a literal thing? What? No. Uh, we can die. It's just like... Good. Then stay back. Hey, 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 watch it. Jack, I may have neglected to mention that the Ormic are notoriously territorial underneath their bohemian facade. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a pampered classist jackboot masquerading as some champion of justice. <clears throat> Look, we're just looking for someone that was here a little bit ago. I love neo-anarchist Pablum as much as the next weak need revolutionary. But I think we can both admit it loses its luster when it ultimately results in the destruction of your entire kingdom. That's not what happened, and you imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry. I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity-challenged rocks. Maybe the next wrong-headed egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well, Jack. I mean, I can't say no. Look, how about we table the culture clash for a bit, huh? We came here on a mission to keep Sandrak from winning the Ever War. Maybe you can help us. Who? You know what? Scratch that. It's not like I care who wins that stupid war. The sooner someone does, the sooner you can all get out of Ormen. You... You don't know who Sandrak is. Nope. But I figure since you're Lucian, he's from Asharn. Same thing, really. Different flags. Same oppressive totalitarian magic-hoarding police state. Am I doing it right? Unhelpful. You're on your own. Mind the road. These chronicler constructs are everywhere. Started spilling out of the library months ago. And you'll be happy to know that there are plenty of Rasharnians around, too. You can keep trying to prove which one of you has the right to determine the lives of the rest of us. Hey, wait up. We really are here to save the world. Let her go. With the Rashanians and these chroniclers about, we really could use someone that knows the territory. I'll catch up with her and... Be nicer? Good plan. You push forward to the library and we'll meet you there. She'll come around. Go. More chroniclers. Moving. 
What is all that webbing? Is it metal? I can grapple over there. That's a whole lot of lurge.
favorite radical, who, it turns out, still wants nothing to do with me. Super. So she bailed again. She did. But I managed to learn that the Sky Librarians built the Chronicler constructs to serve as assistants in some great undertaking that ultimately went pear-shaped. By which I mean the constructs killed them all in a bloody uprising. Everyone? So there's no one at the library to ask about Thaddeus. And yet you'll persevere. For my part, I'm going to hunt down and destroy as many of the Chroniclers as I can. They're too close to the Lucian border for my liking. Copy that. Meet me at the library when you can. This metal shit.
dissolving the big metal uh, nodes clears patches of it up. Good to know. Keep coming across some weird swirling metal material. Any idea what it is? I've seen it before. Constructs often take their embedded instructions and improve on them to do their jobs better and faster. Sometimes they leak those instructions. It comes out of them like uh, metallic sweat. You mean learning? They leak learning. Sure. Invariably, it bubbles out and just makes a mess. Constructs are usually broken down before it happens. The fact that there's so much, well, leakage, yuck, around here means these chroniclers have probably become very, very smart. Gotta find a way inside. 